Hi everyone. The purpose of this uh, video is to explain what a macro is in CorelDRAW. All right. So real quickly, what is a macro? A macros are a recorded series of actions that let you perform tasks quickly. The macros in CorelDRAW are based on Microsoft Visual Basic for applications VBA, which is including the installation of CorelDRAW graphics suites. Okay, how many did I lose already by Microsoft Visual Basic for applications? That's way above my head. Well, it is and it isn't and stuff. In CorelDRAW to record your own macro or macro, depends on what part of the country you come from, is actually uh, fairly simple to do. So in the rest of this video, um, I'll show you how to record it. I'll also show you the use of a macro that I found online um, that was already pre-done that I went ahead and purchased. In a nutshell, a macro or a macro is a series of steps combined into a one clickable action or one item action. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with showing you how to record a macro. Let me get my screen here set up. And I want to get it to a point where I want to start recording the macro. I've got my Macro Manager Docker open. You can do that by clicking on Tools, Macros, and click this right here. I want to go ahead and start recording, and I can either click here or I can click down at the bottom here. Either way, when I click on it, it'll pop up this little window. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a little name of Red2. I'm going to save it, save it under Global Macros. Once I do that, you'll see it pop up here. There's Red2. Okay, so now I'm in recording mode. Now when I go ahead to click on any item or move anything around, it's all part of the macro. In this scenario here, I want to change these two circles to have a red outline, and I want to give it a 0.001 inch or 0.072 point size thickness. The purpose for me is so I can send it to my laser and allow it to go ahead and uh, vector cut these items out of whatever material that I'm doing. Um, I can easily use the shortcuts that are represented to me, but I found when you're recording macros, if you go the long way, or uh, the more you know way that CorelDRAW typically wants you to do it, you can double click on the outline pen color here. I want to go ahead and change it to 0 0.072 size, and I want to give it a red outline, like such. Click OK, and you can see it's changed both of them to a red outline. At this point, I want to go ahead and stop the recording of my macro. I can either do it here or again, tools, macros, stop recording. Now I've got my go I've got my macro already recorded. Let's go ahead and see if it works. So I want to get back to a point where I've selected these two items. If I were to select this and click run here, it should change them instantly with one click to the thin outline, which it does. Okay, great. Now, uh, this macro, I want to get it up on my toolbar here. Uh, how do I do that? I can go up on the toolbar. This is my macro area. I can go up on here, customize, standard toolbar, properties, commands. And on the drop down list here, I want to make sure I'm selecting on the macros. And red 2 recorded macros is the one that I want to do right here. So I can give it a shortcut key or I can give it an appearance. Right now it's got this little icon right here. Um, I want to use this one here. That's the one I like. And then now that I've got it right here, I want to go ahead and left click on it, hold down on it, and I can drag it up to my bar where I want to put it, like such. And then go ahead and document, save all options. So it'll save it to my toolbar so I can use it for future use. That's it. So then I can change it back again. Let me just double check it. Click on this and you can see that it works. On this page here, just for showing how to use that macro, I'm also going to show you a macro that I purchased uh, from DDG. It's called Color Click Extreme. It works with CorelDRAW X7. I'm going to select all my items, click Update here, and basically what it did, it gave me a window here of all the colors that are involved within this artwork here. Uh, this was a job that I did that I had a UV print these onto discs, um, but now the customer, let's say they want them uh, laser engraved and cut out. I need to change the artwork from full color to black and white. I can easily do that. If I just click on the red thing here, it'll go through and it'll select all the red colors. I can simply change it to black. I can go ahead and click on the blue and it selected all the blue. I can change it to white. and. Then I can change, this is the outlines here, I can go ahead and select all of them and I can use my new macro that I just created and you can see it just changed them all to a red outline.
and it's nice and thin. I can also select all this, the blue lines, and I can delete all those with the click of a button. So you can see how quickly and powerful a macro is. And if you use it correctly, it can save you quite a bit of time throughout the day. Hope this helps and it's informative to you. Take care.